Vision have been released from the pre pre grid. 30 competitors. Your grid is as follows for Junior Max Final One. Pole position, it's Mike Van Hoek, this year's Junior Max champion. Alongside him will be the 313 of James Wharton from Australia, one of four drivers in contention for two remaining golden tickets to the 19th running of the 2018 Rotax Max Challenge Grand Final. Danny Van Dyke and Vincent France on row two. Finn Gerzitz and Colin Kezani row three. We've got Edquist and Linus Henson row four. Jersey Spinkovitz and uh, Revez on row Five, Roderick Picker, Madris, row six, Jari Andrisandri and Kobe Pauls, row seven, Christian Mansell and Joel Castro, row eight, Albin Carlson and Jan Pokosh, row nine, Robert Dehan and Jeff Machils, uh, row ten, Christian De Klein and Vigo Hjorvard, row eleven, Lukas Scherbenskas and David Mitov, who celebrates his birthday today on row twelve, and Lukas Schoenemakers. Jeffrey Fixer, Max Schemerdink, Morris Schmeitz, Zen Rudenberg and Lucian Zvavov. That is your 30 strong. So the finals will be slightly longer. It's going to be 10, it's going to be 11 minutes plus an additional lap for our juniors. And it will also be 14 minutes plus an additional lap for senior DD2 and DD2 Masters. Brace yourself, ladies and gentlemen. This is the finale. This is the end of six months of hard work by all our drivers, all our teams, and everyone working in the paddock. And now it comes down to crunch time here in Bavaria at Wackersdorf. Can you feel the anticipation and the tension building right now? Because very shortly, we're gonna go racing for the first time here on Sunday, September 30th, to conclude the 2018 Rotax Max Euro Trophy season. Van Vucht on pole and Wharton alongside now controlling the rolling start formation. Everyone now bunching up, all 30 drivers, 15 rows of competitors. Junior Max will kickstart the action on the final day of the season here in Bavaria. Under the sunshine once again here on Sunday morning. The rolling start formation is now underway. We are about to go green. The Rotax engines roar into life and the lights go out heading into turn one. And Van Voss got the inside run going into turn one. Oh, there's a spinner. Someone's hit the barriers. That could be, I think, that looks to be Vincent France. He was on the outside. Or was he on the inside? That might have been even Finn Gersitz. I'm not too sure at the moment. But driver has recovered and got back out on track, recirculating now. So that was Finn Gersitz. As, uh, I've just seen 347 of Kerzani a little bit uh, down into, I think, probably sixth place. But leaders at the moment, it's Van Voss. Wharton, no, Finn Gersitz up into third, so someone else came a cropper at the back end of the field. And the top three, well, looks like Danny Van Dyke up into the lead of the race. James Wharton down in sixth position at the moment. So it's Van Dyke, looks like Van Voort in second, Finn Gersitz in third. Oh, there's more carnage at the back of the field, two carts involved. And looks to be probably the 349 of Zvavov, I think. So there's been a huge change and there's double waved yellows on the penultimate hairpin, uh, the final hairpin of the, uh, the racetrack itself. But meanwhile, let's concentrate on the front. Finn Gers, it's getting incredibly aggressive and is up now into second position ahead of this year's champion, Mike van Vogt, a little bit further down the order. Corby Powell's probably in yellow flags as well. And there's a car uh, stricken off the side of turn two, heading into the sweeper at turn three. And driver running to the marshal post to safety get out, to get out of the way. Cart is not on the racing line. Nine minutes, 28 plus an additional lap to go in this first Junior Max final. Every which way you try and look around this circuit as the number 371 of Revez is being bumped down the order as well. Kobe Howell's, Powell's trying to get his uh, head down, trying to make some headway on the rest of the opposition. But the Belgians stuck it a bit further down the order. James Warden is trying to go for fifth position on Linus Henson, but the Aussie doesn't get past. Corby Powell's, I think, on my estimation, well, he's going to go up into the top 10 now. He's up into ninth place. He makes a nice move up the inside into turn four. Now into the, the left-hander. And just behind him looks to be the 321 of Robert Dehaan as well. But at the front of the field, Danny Van Dijk is controlling things at the moment with Finn Gerzis from Germany on home soil, doing a fantastic job ahead of JJ Racing teammates and this year's champion, Mike Van Vogt, who has uh, got quite a few carts behind. I count four of them, one of which is the fast-charging Linus Henson. You've also got the 331 of Vilgot Edquist now in fifth position. James Wharton still remaining at six at the moment. And looks like Colin Kazani is at the back of that seven cart train. That's the top seven as they come flying across the start finish line with his uh, 
Lovely sounding Rotax engines. And uh, looks like Mansonese is uh, trying to go side by side through turn three with Roderick Picker. Pushes the pair both wide. Kobe Powell's is with them as well, and it looks like he's getting past. Well, he couldn't quite do so at the moment, but Powell's still in ninth position, which will net him seven points at the moment. Danny Van Dyke at the minute, if things were to stay as they were, Mike Van Volk would take, uh, would take 20 points. As uh, James Wharton is going up the inside of Vilgot Edquist and now takes fifth position, which is 11 points. As there's more bumping and barging, a little bit more uh, close quarter combat here in the first Junior Max final of the day. Danny Van Dyke now starting to stretch his legs a little bit ahead of Finn Gers. It's no, it's not. It's Van Voort. Van Voort now has taken second position from the German. Linus Henson is with them. And it uh, looks like Van Voort has just got past Danny Van Dyke going through turn four. And uh, these two Dutchmen are countrymen, but it is all out war there. Nice move by Linus Henson up the inside of Finn Gersitz uh, going into turn six as they now go through into the triple right-hander at turn seven, eight, and nine. So Van Voort now hits the front. Ahead of Van Dyke, Henson in third, Gersitz, Wharton. Then you also got Kerzani as well, which means that Vidgot Edquist now drops down into seventh position. Corby Powell's is getting very, very racy uh, behind Madris. So the 399, oh, nice move. Uh, he's sort of uh, forced the issue, and up the inside of the pair of them went Robert Dehaan. The Dutchman took a fantastic opportunity there. Lead is going across the start finish line. Six minutes 38 plus an additional lap to go. Van Volkt leads, and it's a Dutch 1 2 as there's more overtaking. James Wharton uh, now goes up into third place. He's got past Linus Henson, who's slotted back into sixth now, head of Vilgot Edquist, and he's going side by side with countryman Finn Gersitz. All oh, bit of rubbing there between the pair of them, but Henson now slots into fifth position. Gersitz now, in, now down into, uh, no, Kersani now down into seventh. That was uh, great moving. No, it is Finn Gersitz. He's now in seventh position. Colin Kezani now is in front of Vilgot Equis in fifth position. Meanwhile, Kobe Powell's is now up into eighth place. That's going to net him around eight points. And there's uh, Mads Ries is uh, having to fend off the likes of uh, Spinkovic from Poland in the 325. So Mads Ries is already at a deficit in this first final. But Van Voort and uh, Danny Van Dyke are now stretching their legs. They've got a clear line of sight between themselves and James Wharton. Last time around, it was nine tenths of a second. As uh, Vigor Jorvard is trying to challenge Jeffrey Fixer for 20th place a bit further down the order. But Fixer doesn't make it stick. He's got a, a bit more time. And there's more moves up and down the order. Looks like there's been a change for position for ninth as Robert dehaan has got past uh, Picker in the 314. Uh, heading into turn six. Meanwhile, the two at the front still controlling the pace. It's a Dutch one two at the moment with Mike Van Voort, with Danny Van Dyke in second, James Wharton in third place, Colin Kerzani fourth, Linus Henson in fifth. And now Finn Gersitz is being dropped by the top six right now, who are split by just over two seconds coming across that last uh, uh, last tour. Kobe Powell's has got plenty, and I mean plenty of work to do. He's got nearly four seconds between himself and uh, Finn Gersitz to make up, who's now having a bit of a lonely race in seventh position, having been in the top two in the initial phase of this first final of the day. Four and a half minutes remaining on the clock, plus one lap. It's still Van Volk from Van Dyke, Wharton in third, Kezani fourth, Linus Henson from Germany in fifth place, having done a fantastic job so far this weekend. But Dan Holland Racing's Villegot Equist in the 331 is wanting to uh, show otherwise. As the leaders come around the final corner, it's very close between uh, Van Voort and Van Dijk. It's less than half a cart length as they go through turns one into turn two, now into the sweeper at turn three. Now, when is Van Dijk probably going to make the move? Not yet, as Kezani was getting very, very close to the back of Linus Henson going into turn number four. More moves up and down the order. And Drisanu trying to go past Picker, and there's another quick, uh, clean move up into turn four. So Picker, I think, might have just lost out on two places. So the top three now really starting to make a break away from the rest of the opposition. There is a clear gap of about six car lengths between. Uh, James Wharton, and now in fourth place, it is Germany's Linus Henson. 
as there's more moves happening up the inside. Some very clean and precise driving from our junior max contingent. As the 338 of Carlison gets past, uh, going into the uh, penultimate hairpin. Kobe Pals is still trying to keep uh, Robert de Haan from the Netherlands at bay. And that is for eighth on the track. Meanwhile, the leaders, it's getting very, very close between first, second and third. And then from fourth to sixth position, Villegot Edquist looking pretty menacing behind the back bumper of the number 347 of Colin Kerzani. But the leaders now coming through to the penultimate hairpin. So turn 11 now heading down in the short blast up to turn 12. And then it's the double right-hander at turns 13 and 14, which will see our leaders cross the uh, start-finish line with just under two and a half minutes plus an additional lap to go in this first Junior Max final. Uh, three retirements already. Jan Pokos, Lukas uh, Scherbinskas and uh, Sv Luzian Svavov as well. Three retirements out of the 30-strong field as uh, Edquist finally gets past Henson. Kersani now up into fourth place and that's through turn four. And it's just great to see the amount of overtakes that are happening into turn three. The uh, fast right-hand sweeper is really proving to be one of those good momentum carriers as they go under the gantry after the crossing the start finish line into turns one and two, then into three. But at the front of the field, Mike Van Voort still continues to lead. He's got just over a minute and a half, a minute and a half plus an additional lap to go in this first Junior Max final. The Dutchman is on course to extend his lead in the championship that will put him on 151 points uh, at the end of this final. So in real time, let's just have a look at how things stand at the moment. Mads Ries is in 10th place. That's six points. Corby Powell's. Well, actually, no, it's Mads Ries now up into ninth place. Corby Powell's into 10th. And let's have a look at where James Wharton is. Well, he's in third, which is going to be 16 points. And then Colin Kerzani up into fourth place now, which puts him on 13 points. So Mads Ries, if it finishes right now, will still be ahead of that quartet, battling over the last two golden tickets. As we've got 60 seconds on the uh, counter to go, the time is fast ticking away here in the first Junior Max final. Mike van Voort continues to lead this race. Having started on pole, initially he went behind Danny van Dijk and the likes of Jane, uh, like us of uh, uh, Finn Gazitz, who's now in seventh position. So 40 seconds on the clock as the leaders head down towards turn four. And Kerzani is trying to go up the inside of Henson. That he does. So uh, nice work while well, Henson is uh, still in front of him and they, they swap positions, switch back from Linus Henson, all rubbing between the pair of them, contact between the two. Will got Edquist decided to pounce when the opportunity presented itself and gets past the pair of them going into the f first right-hander at the triple right-hander at turns seven, eight and nine. So nice work by the Dan Holland racing driver. So seven seconds on the clock. It's gonna be this and one additional lap to go. So time has expired. Last lap board being shown to Mike van Voort from the Netherlands from JJ Racing as it's one more lap to go between him, Danny van Dijk, James Wharton in third, Edquist fourth, Kezani now down into fifth place, which will put him on 81 points. Kobe Pals in the meantime now up into ninth position, which is... Uh, Seven points for the uh, Belgian. Mads Ries now down into 11th place, which puts him on five. And this is going to make things ever so tight at the top. But we've just got three more corners to go. Mike Van Voort, this year's 2018 Rotax Max Euro Trophy Series Champion and Junior Max, is going to come around the final corners, closely followed by countryman Danny Van Dyke. Checkered flag waves, and it goes to Mike Van Voort, who takes a win for the first of two finals and knows that no one can touch him right now. He's done it in style. He's, uh, he's and great sportsmanship between him and Danny Van Dyke having a great battle. And we've got yellow flags actually at uh, turn four. There is a cart stricken on the infield. But when it was all said and done, Mike Van Voort from the Netherlands takes Junior Max final number one, the penultimate one of the season by just under a quarter of a second ahead of countryman Danny Van Dyke, which makes it a Dutch 1-2.
Good showing by James Wharton, taking third place, 16 points towards the Australian's points tally, which puts him one point behind Mads Ries, with those two being the ones in clear contention uh, for this year's Rotax Max Challenge Grand Finals. So let's run you through the finishing order. Mike van Voogt convincingly wins Junior Max Final number one here in Vakersdorf, ahead of countryman Danny van Dijk. James Wharton rounds out the top three with Vilgot Edquist capitalising on the uh, contact between Colin Kezani and Linus Henson, who finished fifth and sixth respectively. Finn Gersitz takes seventh ahead of Robert Dehaan. Corby Powells finishes in ninth place ahead of Jerzy Spinkovitz with Mads Lies. Uh, Schoenemakers, Castro, Reves, Andrisani, Pika, Fixer, Hjorvard, Mansell, France, Machils, De Klein, Schmeiss, Carlson, Rudenberg, Stemmerdink, and Mitov, the birthday boy today, rounding out the 27 that finished ahead of Jan Pokos, Lukas Szabinskas, and Lucian Svavov, who ended up retiring from the race.